Welcome to today's 3D print. Let's talk about leveling knobs for the CR10. These both are push fit leveling knobs. You take the original knob that came with the printer and you push it into the fit fitting here. And both of them fit absolutely perfectly. They slip right in, the friction fit. I put a couple drops of glue on this one because I like these so much I want to make sure they don't move. I'll get to why in a second. This is the original one I tried. This is by Bokix. It's thing number 2350483. There's nothing wrong with these. It's just they don't do what I want them to do. Um, they're too small. Even even these are too small. Um, and they're too hard to turn. Uh, I still have to reach in there with two fingers and manhandle these. Um, one of the biggest problems is the knob sits flush so this the knob edge and this entire surface area are in contact with the plate the y carriage plate which increases the amount of friction so they're actually harder to turn even though they're larger um, these on the other hand the ones i'm using now this is by valstrath it's thing number 2408748 the ultimate leveling knob attachment these things are gigantic and they look freaking cool. They print it absolutely beautifully. Not even a single fiber of plastic out of place. But these do something a little different. If you look closely, you can see that the knob actually extends beyond the printed part. So when you put this on the printer this way, so that the screw from the printer goes in this way, and here is your Y plate, you can see there is still a gap there versus these that sit flush, increasing the surface area. So that means these only have the original contact point, which means lower friction, and they are so large that you can literally take a single finger and just gently tug on this and push it and adjust it for fine bed level adjustment with a single finger. So you do less, you don't tweak the printer as much when you're adjusting them. These, I kind of shove the printer all over the place and I grab, twist. And then I have to let go, let the printer stabilize and see what it does and adjust again. This one, I can just lay my finger on there and just gently rock it to push it. So let me show you. This one I didn't put on the printer yet because I want to show you what it looks like. So let me show you the ones I did install. Hold on one moment. So here it is on the printer. I've already adjusted these. So you can just literally take your finger and touch this and you can move this. And adjust this just like that with your finger and you can see I'm not moving the bed it's not being tweaked very very easy so I can just reach in here with a finger and adjust this just like that very very cool I love this and installation is of course crazy easy you just spin them on I find it's actually easier to lift up the whole printer and I can just spin them on from underneath which I can't do while I'm holding a camera so more on that later Oh, no, I'm just going to put it on <laughs> and relevel the printer. But let me show you again the part. So here again, we have a close-up. You can see how nice the part came out. That's the top layers. The bottom layers. This is printed in eSun PLA Pro. It's a slightly peachy but reasonably bright orange. The color looks very different in the video. Um, but it's, um, let's see, it's pretty close to this. Huh, I wonder why they show up so differently. These look pretty close in real life, but they look different on the camera. I wonder if there's some IR involved here. Because this looks closer to this than it does in the video. It looks more pale in the video. But this is their PLA Pro. Very, very strong. I kind of went overkill on the infill. This thing is actually pretty heavy. <laughs> I think I did like 25% infill. It did not need that much. And, and I did three perimeters. But um, I like a nice durable part. So I don't mind that. It's not going to add that much weight to the print bit. A bit more than this, but it's okay. But very cool. Again, this is 2408748. It's um, the CR10 Ultimate Leveling Knob Attachment by Valstrath. Published June 28, 2017. A definite must-have for the CR10. I love these.